Hey everybody and welcome back to Super Comic Fun Time. I know it's been a long time since I made a video. I actually have two I'm working on and uh, I just don't have any time to do the meager sorts of editing I'm capable of doing to get them online to you. But last week I did go to my local Half Price Books and I did find some quote or yeah Half Price Books quote treasures. So the first thing I'm going to go through is I found uh, some Warlock and the Infinity Watch books. So let's see, I think I've got these in order. I think I did that much prep. So I found um, issue 13, uh, issue 15, um, issue 16, issue 17, And then the reason that I bought the whole, that, that whole run I could find, uh, issue 18. Now, uh, this cover just happened to be exposed when I was going through the uh, bin at my Half Price Books. And I just, uh, something about it I really liked. Now, I probably have this in, as part of that big collection of, uh, of Infinity Gauntlet uh, books that I got last spring. But, and I, I almost passed it by because of it but you know these were a dollar each and I just thought you know they're like 75 cents cheaper than when they first came out and I just love like I love Gamora's uh, expression there and yeah just this cover got me to buy the rest of the, the books I could find and I, I don't know why I like it I like it so then the other thing I found was um, this Dreadstar this is uh, Marvel Graphic Novel number three. And um, as you can see, the price was only $5.99. So I thought that was quite reasonable. A few, you know, maybe two months ago, I found another graphic novel. I forget which one it was, but it was like $15. And it was like a six printing or something. And I don't know if that made it more valuable or not, but I didn't want to pay $20 for it. So this was, uh, this was $6. And I was willing to pay six dollars for that, especially like, look at that kitty, look at that kitty. Now, this is part of uh, the Metamorphosis Odyssey uh, run by uh, by Jim Starlin, which started in Epic Magazine. I was a charter subscriber to Epic Magazine back when it started, and I got the first, at least the first year's worth of issues. And then, like, uh, I think it was published every other month, so I probably got two years of it, and then. I went into the army and I didn't collect comics as much anymore. So uh, I haven't read this yet, but I have flipped through it. And I, you know, remembering like, I remember this guy, this guy came from a world where the only food, <laughs> I kind of thought it was ridiculous, but the only food on his world was other beings like his uh, self. And he kind of rejected that. And he was the only being who did. And I always wondered what else he ate. Now, of course, that was like 30-some years ago, uh, and, I, you know, I might be forgetting quite a bit from that. But, uh, you know, I think, you know, I vaguely remember this guy with the pointy nose. I think he's the one who brought them all together. Like, each part of Metamorphosis Odyssey, you kind of were, uh, you, you kind of got the backstory of each of the main characters and I think this guy was the guy that brought them all together to save the universe I really don't remember what the story was I just remember like liking it a lot and like wondering uh, you know I, I don't know if I think epic might have been canceled before this finished so I think this might continue on from from what was in the uh, the magazine I don't know I haven't looked at it close enough but I am excited to read it as soon as I get a chance and it's just about I've been very busy which is why I haven't got up it, uh, any videos up in uh, a, a little while I've got uh, um, you know Christmas and uh, work and uh, doing other stuff I've started my own sort of practice that I do every day and I've become really interested in some other books I'm reading that are not comic books. So it's hard, you know, if you're running a comic book channel, it's hard to talk about comic books if you're not doing much with them. Um, but I do, like I say, I have two uh, videos coming up. One is uh, the House of Mystery, 
uh, unboxing, and then uh, Space Force came, Trump's Space Force, by uh, by all those people who made that, and I can't, I'm so tired right now, I can't even think, Tim Lim, uh, Tim Lim is one of the guys, um, Brett, is it Brett R. Smith, and uh, Chuck Dixon, I probably just screwed up all of those names, but uh, it's beer time, I'm going to go have a beer,